Howdy do y'all, this is John and today we are talking about Blue Beetle, a new movie out in theaters right now. Then Blue Beetle deals with Jaime Reyes who finds himself being turned into a superhero by this alien scarab. And all the while this lady, this business lady, is after him because she wants the scarab that turns him into the Blue Beetle as well. Okay, so to get things started, first and foremost, what I liked about the movie, which isn't really a whole lot, I do, in fact, like certain elements of the film, certain elements of its narrative. Like, there's this uh, one aspect of the movie involving family, the importance of family, and I really like that element. Because I do think that the whole family element thing is being ignored in movies a whole lot. The importance of what a family unit is. And like I said, I like that. That is a good element in the film. And I do like the handlement of the action sequences. I think that they are very well done for the most part. There's this one where the lighting is just way too dark. But that is about it. All the other action scenes I thought were pretty well handled, including this one where the, you know, the hero gets his signature beat down. Because that's important to do in all action movies. The hero, the hero should, you know, just get this terrible beat down. So I like some of the angles they went with. I like the action sequences. I also think that the musical score is... Pretty decent. I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favorite musical score in a movie this year or my favorite musical score in a superhero movie or anything like that. But I do think that the music gets the job done and it's not terrible. On the other hand, I don't care for Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes as a character, even though from what I've been told from Blue Beetle fans in the comics, he is a uh, very good replacement for the original Blue Beetle. Apparently he's very well done in the comic books. But in this movie, he's just not done very well. Literally the thing that the filmmakers, the writers, and all of them focus on with the script is instead of making a good character in Jaime Reyes, they want you to like him because he is Mexican. That's not how you write a character. That'd be like me writing a character who's Irish-American and saying, hey, you should like this guy because he's Irish-American. That's just not going to fly with the average person. Or French-American or German-American. British-American. That, that's just never going to fly. The main selling point for this film with Jaime Reyes, why you should like him, is because he's Mexican-American. That's not flying at all because it's just not how you make a character likable or relatable. The story is just an atypical superhero movie origin story. Everything that you see in your typical superhero origin story movie, it's all over the place. A character who mysteriously gets these powers and all of a sudden, boom, you know, hey, he's a superhero, I guess. So the villain, Played by Susan Sarandon, I think she is. The villain is really bad. She is this person who has this good idea, you know, building armored suits for police. Although that can have its dangerous sides as well. I'm not going to deny that. But she decides to just throw it all away to try and kill this kid over a alien scarab. Also some of the whole political stuff like George Lopez being offended by the word alien, calling Batman a fascist. What the heck? That is that crap is was just completely unnecessary. It added nothing to the narrative at all. It just made the writers and director look like children. In the end, Blue Beetle, I did not enjoy it. I was honestly more annoyed with it than anything else. Some decent things in it, but with an unlikable main hero, a terrible villain, a basic 
plot. Can I recommend this film? I'm gonna give Blue Beetle a three. That's all the time I have for today. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Badetsky will return.